Yo, is that is that Luca? Why is Luca calling you? What? No. What would make you think that? Yo, what the? Wow. I know you ain't talking to this clown. Clown? Wait, I can't believe you. Yeah, you're whack. Guys come and go. And I was ready to let them go for a long time. I'm sorry. Do you know where the library is? Hey, you guys going ahead, okay? Zoe, Johnson. Zoe Johnson, I'm Cash. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That was long enough. The number one high school player in the country. Coming to a Division I college near you. Wait, so he asked for me to be his tutor? I'm just as shocked as you. Okay, I'm in. Hey. Hey. What's, uh, what's, what's, what's up? What's up, guys? Yo, what's up, little man? Yeah, it's uh, not the best time for a selfie right now, but I'll catch you on the way out. When I'm with you, I feel more like me than when I'm anywhere else. I feel the exact same way. I mean, there's something about you that just feels so right. Even the things I hate about you, I still kind of like. Well then, it's me and you versus everybody else. You. Bill, I don't know what my plans are after the season. But I know wherever I do end up, I want that girl with me. And I'm saying it right here on your show. I'm not going anywhere without Zoe Johnson. You got the scoop first, Carrie. You're welcome. Wow. Oh my god. That was almost like a proposal on national television. I'm just as confused as you are. This whole thing is new to me and yeah. I, I don't know what to expect. Ne neither do I, but I was willing to take the chance. I just don't want to break your heart. It's a little too late for that. It's the thing about you. Every single time I think I've got it figured out and I know what I want, help me realize that I don't. Beth. I think we have something here. What? Nothing. No, seriously, what? It's just what you said and uh, what you did for Hawkins. Not too bad for a shallow girl from Sherman Oaks, huh? You're definitely more than that. I wanted you to know that I'm down to make this a thing if you are. So just, you know, think about it. Think about it. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, good night. Good night. Tonight, I didn't even realize either of you cared. Well, now you know. The choice suddenly became clear. I'm no good without you and I can't get enough. Must be love on the brain. I just really want us to work. You know, it means something real to me. Like in real life. Yeah, me too. I love you, Zoe. Oh, God, that's the first time you've said that to me in person. <laughs> you didn't have to make it a whole thing or whatever. I was just going on. me on your terms, Luca. Like, you have no problem giving me a pep talk when I'm down and you're up, but the minute the tables turn, the minute I have the slightest win over you, you can't even handle it. That's not unconditional support, that's bullshit. You were there when I had my first big fight with Luca. Huh? You were there when I was trying to figure out my major <laughs> at the pop-up shop, and, and now, like, you're always here without me even having to ask. Why couldn't you have said that? It's not like there's anything going on between us. Are you serious? 
Are we gonna play this game? Because at the beginning of the semester, I told you I wanted to be with you, to your face. And so, you know, I actually kinda get it. Because if I was your girl, the last thing I'd want is someone who's in love with my man sniffing around. Here in what? I care about you. Probably more than I've cared about anyone the past three years. I came over the other night to tell you that I needed to take a step back. And then and somehow I managed to become your side piece, so. No, you are not that. You're, you're you. You're Zoe. Okay, and what does that even mean? You're the girl that floats in and out of my life whenever she wants and just kind of screws with my head. Aaron, as much as I love you, and make no mistake, I am in love with you, I can't start our story like this. But if we are meant to be later down the line, we can try with a clean slate and a fresh start. Right. But if not, we had a nice run. But I'm sick of waiting. The truth is, I, I love you too, so much. So, I want our story to start now, like, right now. I managed to dive headfirst into my most adult moment yet. Oh my god. I mean, do we really just do this? I think we did. Let me see the ring. You gotta pose with it. Look at my ring. Does it look cool like when I go to pull my jacket like this? Yes. Oh my god. I can't believe we got married. I just can't imagine leaving right when we're being handed the biggest opportunity of our lives. I mean, this is, this is exactly what I worked so hard for. Yeah. I mean, the only reason I would consider leaving and walking away from such a huge opportunity is, is for you. Because I love you so much. Just maybe, love would find us. This is like old times, huh? No. I mean, not like the times where we broke up and got back together again, or even got arrested, but like the good old times. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm so glad I'm home. I feel like we have so many good, new, old times in our future. You know what, I actually I have an idea. What? Yeah. Um, how about we write out a list of expectations we have of each other to be great long distance partners. Okay. Yeah. I like that. We can get down with that. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, start with no teaming up with waiters to make fun of your partner. It doesn't seem long distance related, but sure. You can date on Zoom. Okay. And FaceTime. two, no responding to texts with just emojis. Okay. Actual words, I please. like that one. Thumbs up emoji to that. <laughs> My question to you is, in your dream world, where do you end up? In New York. We both know we can't do this anymore. I know that you have to go. Hell, I, I want you to go, even though it breaks my heart. But I cannot pretend that I don't know how this long distance thing ends. So what now? I don't know. But I know that I love you so much. Yeah, I love you too.